all of the key executives. Forget the LinkedIn easy solution. We're diving deep into the real game changers. The CEO, that's right, you. You are the key player at the center of all, the real MVP of a football club. Here are the 10 commandments of a club CEO. First, vision and strategy. The CEO puts into practice, into vision that resonates with everyone involved in the club, from youth player to the star player. The environment is key and managers are important, but leading brings that extra difference. So where this X factor is gonna come from? Uh, what are they? Two, hiring the A team. Whether it's about the game or business, the CEO must appoint top-notch leaders to ensure a cohesive and effective team. It's not just about hiring skilled people, but networking, networking, don't underestimate it. But who's assessing your hires? Three, decision-making. The CEO is the ultimate referee, balancing the needs both of the football and the business sides and the community while making tough calls when it's necessary. And this begs this question, do you know how and when to say no, even to your friends? Four, football know-how. Usually a CEO comes from either a business or sports background, but an in-depth understanding of the business or the sport is essential. Is a dual CEO role needed or can you acquire the missing skills? Think of it as a fitting the missing Tetris piece and let's complete this picture. Five, building the perfect team from the boardroom to the locker room falls on the CEO's shoulders. Knowing the vital function in the club is crucial, but training everyone to work together is equally important. But what have you done recently to make it happen? Six, governance sensitive. The CEO role isn't just symbolic. It's an influential position that creates tangible value both within and outside the club. Navigating the high seas of UEFA, CONCACAF, AFC and FIFA. You better know your compass points. Seven, the world of football is a storm, steer the ship. CEO must provide consistently direction amidst the chaos. Are you prepared for ultras knocking on your door or would you rather call for help? Eight, short-term victories are appealing, but the CEO should focus creating on a legacy, long-term sustainable success. Surely you've seen the LTT Sports 11 sustainability points for clubs described in the FC Business articles. As my grandfather used to say about commitment, you never actually own a Patek Philippe. You merely look after it for the next generation. And then he handed me a swatch. Well, no, I'm joking. Be timeless, but stay timely. Number nine, values of a CEO. You're the guardian of a club's value, which needs to be aligned with expectations and beliefs of your fans and stakeholders. But are you being reproached? Do you even need to be? 10. Stakeholder management. The CEO is the vital connective ish tissue between the diverse stakeholders, such as owners, fans, media. Transparency, influence, trust are key. But what's your plan B if the main sponsor decides to walk away? Anyway, those are the 10 commandments that form the cornerstone of effective leadership for challenging, complicated world of club football. They are not just rules, but principles that underpin a successful tenure as a club CEO. Great CEOs are almost always great simplifiers. Yeah, the quote. At one of the meetings we had in Geneva, Ferran Soriano, Manchester City FC CEO, told us, football is a specific type of activity with its peculiarities, but general business sense and management tools can be applied to it. All right, stay tuned for more back to school club management series the game's changing, and so should you.